It is important to note that before we start this 2006 Buick Lucerne that the uh, pressures are right around 80 PSI, um, 75 to 80 PSI, ambient temperature is 71. So right now the vehicle has started. You can see the vehicle has started just a little bit and now the AC is turned on. And when the AC is turned on, the pressures immediately go um, to, you know, close to 30 PSI. You can see that the low side uh, uh, gauge is fluctuating just a little bit. So it looks like the TXV is uh, trying to balance out. And now the low pressure is um, maybe around 29 PSI. And uh, high side pressure is probably around the same uh, scenario, probably around uh, 29, 30 PSI. This is Professor Scott Norman from Pittsburgh State University, and this is another micro lesson on AC gauge analysis. So this is a, um, a TXV system on this uh, Buick, and uh, how I use these videos is that um, I turn the sound off and I let the uh, students uh, uh, look at the uh, video while we're in class, and then we have an open discussion on what the students think the problem is. And, and I give them a gauge analysis chart, and we kind of work through together how to analyze this particular uh, scenario. So if you're going to want to do this a lesson with your students, I recommend turning the, um, the audio off so, so your students uh, don't get my voice and they don't get the uh, answers to this problem. So this is a TXV system, and the problem is that the, um, there's a restriction before the high side surface port. So the restriction is in the uh, condenser or the, or, the, um, or the receiver dryer. And the high side service port is on the liquid line. So, so, so because of the restriction um, is in uh, it on the high side of the system. Um, what you're seeing here is that the high side and the low side gauge is actually, you know, the same pressure because the restriction is before the gauges. And so, if I turn the AC system off, there is no equalization because the gauges are already equalized. Um, when when the students um, diagnose this particular problem, almost everybody assumes that there that the system is undercharged, and so they'll pull all the refrigerant out and realize that um, the system was charged correctly, and so they'll put the refrigerant back in again and they'll continue on with the diagnostics. On this particular uh, vehicle, um, the uh, it, it does have a pressure transducer on the discharge line. So if you look at the pressure transducer on the discharge line. High side pressure will be around um, I don't know, probably 130, 140 psi. Liquid line pressure is at 30, so you can see that there's a, uh, at least 100 psi restriction going through the condenser and the receiver dryer. So, so, so that's how the students will diagnose this problem. But when they first look at the gauge readings. They're confused because both the system uh, gauges are low and they think it's undercharged, but really there's a restriction before the high side service port.